Alrighty, what's up guys, Killjoy's Drummer here, and today we will finish Mount Moon, I promise. I had been, I don't know why it's taking me so long, but uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, in the last episode I had said that I was going to point out when Clefairy comes up. It's in this little area right here, you can find uh, you can find her here, or him, or, hey, Zubat call, that's nice. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. I don't know what I, why I stopped there for a minute, but oh well, it doesn't matter. I'll just use. Whoops. Did it say use? What are you gonna use it? Oh, okay. I was like, what are you gonna use it for? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Also, I wanna point out if you look out into the darkness, it looks like the land that we're on is floating. I just wanted to point that out. It just kinda looks that way to me. Looks like the entire place is just floating. It blows my mind. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Uh, take fossils, whatever, huge riches. Good for you, buddy. But yeah, it just looks like this entire place is floating if you just look up, look off, uh, look off the cliff. But anyway, <laughs> Shadow Bolt. Just Thundershock one as well. Screw your clear attack. I Thundershock you to the face. Pew! Whoa, critical hit. Beautiful. I wasn't expecting that. Do that. And you shall die as well. Damn. Thunder. F I don't know why. I was about to say Thunder Fuck. <laughs> thunder Shock. To your face with no eyes. <laughs> no, I'm mad. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> we can just click on that. Get a hidden moonstone, which is nice. This is a uh, super nerd right here. Uh, super nerds normally have a. Uh, they either have electric types, poison types, or a combination of electric and poison. This guy has a combination. He has a grimer, coughing, and uh, Voltorb. So. Oh, pardon me. I'll just have Shadow Volt here take out the grimer and the coughing, and then when the Voltorb comes, I'll just switch over to Ivysaur. Thank God that poison gas missed. I really didn't want to deal with poison right now. Static, fully per, per, poison paralyzed? Yeah, alright, now. Whew. I just kind of break there, man. I did not want to be poisoned. Not at all. But, uh. That's nice. Hey, level up. Cool. Copying. Copying. Copper, 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 and shot. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> hey, I didn't want I thought I was going to. That's nice. Alrighty. Yep, coffin is dead. And yeah, we'll switch over to what? Oh yeah, apparently I pressed B whenever I thought I pressed A, whatever. Uh quick attack it is, I guess. Wow, that did not do near as much as I thought it was going to. I don't know what charge is going to help you, Voltorb, to be honest. I'll just quick attack. What? You lived, you fag! You gotta waste another power point for quick attack, man. You suck. I hate your life right now. <sighs> Alright, oh well. I had to waste another power point in like 10 seconds of you guys' life, but whatever. Nonetheless, we defeat the super nerd and take a fossil. Now, these fossils up here, we have the dome fossil, which contains Kabuto, and this helix fossil contains Almanite. Uh, Almanite later evolves into Amistar, which is a... Uh, they're both water rock types, um, but Almanite evolves into Amistar later, and Kabuto evolves into Kabuto. Kabutops later. Uh, I'm more of a Kabutops fan, so I'm just gonna go with the Dome Fossil. Uh, I'm not gonna put either one on my team. I mean, you can't even revive them until the, uh, 7th Gym Badge, so. Alright. Well, I mean, you can have 6 Gym Badges, but until, like, Cinnabar Island, basically. It's, it takes so long. But, anyway, hey, an antidote, nice. Uh, I, okay, I don't know why I thought something was on there. Anyway. Okay, now here is the thing I don't get. Watch. Climb up a ladder, just walk out. Okay, let's do that again. Go back, 
you go through the exit, walking in. Instead of walking in, you go down a ladder. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. <laughs> whatever. Uh, uh, never made sense to me, but whatever. Anyway, we got two move tutors up here. To the left teaches you Mega ki mega Punch, and then this guy over here to the right teaches you Mega Kick. I'm gonna go with Mega, mega Punch, because uh, although Mega Punch is less, uh, has less power, it has much more accuracy and it's much more dependable. Um, so yeah, I'll be teaching Pikachu Mega Punch here. And, yes. Okay. Let's see, uh, yeah, Thunder Shot, Quick Attack, Double Team, Thunder Wave. Double Team is really only, it's only good to me whenever you're doing competitive battling, and I want to keep Quick Attack, and I need an electric type move, and Thunder Wave is nice, so... We'll just get rid of double team. We don't need double team, do we? Nah. Alright. Yep, we're the... Yes, you're correct. Silly kicking. That is for faggots. Okay. Um... Then here... There doesn't appear to be a hidden item, so we'll just continue on. Oh! What is this we have here? A raspberry! I see what you did there. Uh, anyway... Going up here, you can have this TM here. It contains Roar. Sucky move, it just, you know, switches um, your opponent out with another random Pokemon. But anyway, you can go down that way to uh, Cerulean City, which is where we're going. And in this grass, if you're playing Fire Red version, you can find Ekans. If you're playing Leaf Green like me, you can find Sentru. And then you can also find your basic Pokemon like Pidgey and stuff. Uh, you don't have to climb that way. I mean, you can face the little entrance right there. But anyway. Cerulean City! Beautiful, we finally get to do this. So, uh, this episode I suppose will just be, uh, touring Cerulean City. I'll just heal my Pokemon real quick. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Kilgore's Jr. Up, up, up at the front. So, yeah, let's get on out of here, shall we? So, there's, a uh, there's not too much to do here, but, uh, you can, first things first, you can come in here. Um, this guy will just teach you about the badges and all of that, uh, it's just, yeah, eight badges. He'll just, you choose a badge and he'll tell you about it, it's nothing fancy. But you can go into his backyard, and I don't remember the exact spot, but it's here somewhere, I promise, hold on. There it is, you get yourself a hidden rare candy. Um, and once again, I'm not going to be using hit rare candies through this walkthrough, but there's just a hidden rare candy for people who love rare candies. Um, let's check this house. Yeah, nothing significant, there's just a little old man here. Ah, oh, yes, you can come... No, I do not have interest in berries, but you can come here and do stuff with berries. I never really did pay attention to the berry guys, so... You can find that out if you want to, but, yeah, I don't want to. I don't like berries. Uh, anyway, this is a guard right here. He's just guarding the place. It's it's guarded for now. You can, later on, uh, check that out. And there's the gym. There's the Pokemon Center. There's another random house. Let's go in there. If I can. <laughs> uh, old man and lady. Oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty positive one of these... Yes, you can trade uh, a Poliwhirl for a Jinx, this old man up here. Uh, I believe this is the only way you can get Jinx. Um, if I'm correct, I, I may be wrong, but it may be the, I'm pretty positive it's the only way you can get Jinx. Uh, it's Psychic Ice type. I never liked it because it's design, but it's actually not that bad. It's got pretty good uh, stats and everything. Um, the Psychic Ice type is actually a pretty cool combination, so... Yeah, if you don't want a Poliwhirl, I suggest picking that up. Uh, there's just a random old man in there. It's nothing significant. And you got yourself a mart, another house, all that good stuff. And then there's the gym. So we pretty much toured everything except for this building down here. What could this possibly be? Oh, it's the bike shop. Wonderful. I would actually love a bike. Let's go talk to him. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. We just got one million dollars for a bike. Holy Jesus is... Ball sack. I don't have enough for that. Oh my god, a million dollars for a bike. Screw that. Uh, later on, we can actually get a bike, so don't worry about it. But if you can somehow get a million dollars at this point in the game, there's yourself a bike early on. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, 
Still got somewhat of time left. I guess we can begin the gym. Might as well. Why not? And let's look at the certified trainers. Ash, our rival. That is this guy. Does stuff. Ah, no, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Dang it. Okay. Anytime now. Okay. So, uh, you can, I believe you can actually go ahead and get straight to the gym later there. You can avoid that fight. And avoid that fight. And there, just talk to the gym leader and there's your battle. But, uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to go ahead and fight the trainers. So, yeah, we got ourselves a swimmer splash. I'm first up. Let's do it. Let's. Swimmer, male. Lewis or Luis, one of the two. Uh, he's got a horsey. Nothing, uh, nothing intimidating really. We'll just do a bunch. We'll just uh, wine with it. Bam! One hit kill. Beautiful. And we leveled up. Nice. Ah. There's a shelter. Whenever it fully evolves into cloister, it has. I believe the highest base physical defense in the game. Uh, it'll also get a dual typing of ice, so it'll be a water ice type. Uh, pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not going to put a cloister on my team, but cloister, highest physical defense in the game, from what I remember. And uh, water ice type, so yeah, there's something. Alright, and then we'll take on this uh, trainer right here. Misty won't have to be bothered. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Picnic or Diana. Just got a goldie. Nothing. I'm fine with you. Okay. Apparently, Goldine's faster. I don't remember the day that happened, but whatever. And it didn't even kill her. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, because obviously I'm sure is going to know fire type moves. Beautiful. <laughs> Why would I even have a fire type at in this point in the game unless I chose Charmander? Whatever. Nonetheless, we got the fight done. I overwhelmed her. Wonderful. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose that'll be it for today, guys. Um, in the next episode, we'll be taking on Misty and all that, do, and then we'll go north of Cerulean to see what's up there. Uh, go ahead and check out my other two channels in the link in the description below. Uh, also follow me on Twitter for any new updates on YouTube or just whatever I have to say in general. I'll see you guys next time. Later.